Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a That's So Raven themed intro tutorial for you guys. And I've seen a couple YouTubers do these, but here's just what they look like. Let's go! Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the app Fonto and you want to go to the little camera icon at the bottom and you want to choose plain image and then you want to choose either the black or the white and then you want to go to the size at the top and you want to go to custom and you want to change the dimensions to 1280 by 720. Next, we're going to go to color and we're going to change the color to the orange that they have since that's the background of the That's a Raven intro. And then we're going to go to the top right and click on use. Then we're going to hit those three lines at the bottom left hand corner and choose add item and you're going to choose the circle. And then you're going to tap on the circle and click on color and you want to change the color to white. And then you just want to size it a little bit bigger on the screen. Then you're just going to hit anywhere on the screen and hit add text and you're going to type in that. You can type in just your channel name but I'm going to do that so and then my channel name. And the font I'm using is Helvetica New Bold since that's the one that's most similar to the That's a Raven intro. And then I'm changing the color to a yellow and then I'm also going to go to style and I'm going to add a shadow or um, yeah, shadow behind the text and then I'm just going to place that in the center of the circle Then you're gonna go to the bottom right and just save that image and we're gonna be doing four of these So one out of four is already done So for this next frame We're going to move our text out of the actual frame and we're going to add another circle But this time we're going to make the circle a mustard yellow color and then we're going to place that mustard yellow circle in the center of the frame so I'm just going to go ahead and remove that white circle out of the frame and just put that mustard yellow right in the middle of the frame. And then I'm going to put that white circle in the middle of the yellow circle as you can see here. So you want your layout to look like that. And then I'm going to change the text to so. And then for the color, I'm going to make this a lighter orange color. And just place that in the center of the white circle and you can save your image. So halfway done, we have two more frames to go. So for this next frame, what we're going to want to do is we're going to add item and we're going to do the square this time and we're going to do the yellow color and then you want to just resize it so that it fits the dimensions. And then you're going to add the white circle right in the center of the frame. Then you're going to click on your text and then you're going to add your channel name now. And you want to change the color to this purple color that they have and you want to just center it right on top of the white circle and save your image. Now for the last frame, what you're going to want to do is you want to remove the white circle out of the frame and then you want to change that square color to orange now. And then you want to add the white circle and then you want to make that white circle much bigger and then you want to add your channel name right in the center of that. And you know the drill, save your image. So you should have four photos saved to your camera roll now and what we're going to do is we're going to go to iMovie and we're going to import these four photos that we made in chronological order into our iMovie project. So here's what it looks like. And iMovie tends to just automatically add transitions, so you just want to remove those transitions as I'm doing here. So I'm just tapping on the transition and clicking none. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shorten the clip for each one because iMovie makes it really long. Um, so I'm just making the clip shorter and then I'm zooming out with my fingers and clicking Ken Burns enabled so that the picture is not moving. So I'm just shortening the clip, zooming out with my fingers on the screen and clicking Ken Burns Enable for each frame. So that's basically most of it done, it's just what it looks like. Our last step is to just add the background music. So what you can do is you can just search That's a Raven intro on YouTube and then you can just screen record the first four seconds of it and then add that video into iMovie and then detach the audio. But either way, I'll have a video link down below if you don't know how to do that. But once you add the audio, here's just what everything will look like. 
So yeah, I hope this video was helpful, guys, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Okay.